Hello. Earlier this year I did a tutorial in German language about Maya 2017 Arnold and XGen. And uh, we created scenes with uh, Arnold renderer and uh, with XGen hair, for example, and I think a couple of uh, end particles. And uh, this scene, for example, uh, has hair which I cannot groom. The grooming tools are only available for groomable splines. I don't want to convert them to groomable splines now because I want to do a test rendering and try to check how Arnold behaves with this scene. So if I want to render this current scene, uh, I'll first tr uh, render it with Maya renderer. In the background you have a uh, blue Arnold global illumination sphere which wraps around the whole scene. It's called a sky dome light. And uh, the only other light I have is a Maya spotlight which shines from the back to the, to the cone which is grey and sits in the middle of the red grass or red bush. Now let me render this and uh, be warned it will be depressing to render it using the Maya renderer. Depressing to look at, that's uh, rendering using Maya software. Uh, in the rendering settings you can choose the renderer obviously. Now I render this and uh, this is what comes out. I see uh, a little tint of blue, probably because Maya sort of interprets the uh, illumination sphere around the whole scene. But uh, there's no grass, there's uh, nothing really interesting in the scene. So from the render settings I now choose Arnold close that window and do a render again. It looks very dark because the intensity of the light dome is very low. I like to set the intensity low to give that basic feeling of that there is something without actually highlighting anything. It's a good start to just illuminate the scene in general. Now let's go to the spotlight and the attribute editor. It's that tab to the right. I think it's too complicated really. Interface wise uh, we have uh, left and right and whatever tabs now to click. The intensity here is uh, by default on quadratic on the spotlight. As you can see the decay type that's typical for Arnold. When Arnold uses lights it uses the natural quadratic uh, fall off over distance and the exposure is set to minus 5. So let's raise the intensity now, the exposure now and now you get this beautiful image. It looks like what we wanted it to look and you see the shadows pretty sharp, maybe too sharp on the cone and the light coming from the back. So this was just a recap of something which happened earlier and since the video in German had so many uh, views I thought I'd just quickly translate it into English.